Long before there were trains and airplanes, America's rivers served as the nation's highways. And for the towns along their banks, ships, barges, and steamboats were their connections to the outside world. Hannibal, Missouri was no exception. This was once a bustling river port. Steamships pulled into its docks every day with goods and people from afar. Hustlers, cowboys, slave owners, and newly converted Mormons from England all passed through this busy port town on their journeys west. There was probably no one in Hannibal more curious about the ships and people that landed here than a young boy named Samuel Clemens, who would later be known as Mark Twain. Clemens grew up in this house in the middle of town. It was here, climbing out windows in the night to roam around the docks and ships in Hannibal, where he developed many of the memories of life on the Mississippi that he would turn into fiction as the writer Mark Twain. Ernest Hemingway said of Twain's classic novel, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, all modern American literature comes from this one book. At 11, Clemens left school and worked at printing presses in several cities before making his way to St. Louis, where he finally pursued his dream of becoming a riverboat pilot. In his book, Life on the Mississippi, Clemens wrote, a pilot in those days was the only unfettered and entirely independent human being that lived on the earth. The sound of that riverboat's whistle raised goosebumps as big as walnuts on me. Clemens took his pen name, Mark Twain, from a term that a pilot's apprentice called out when the water depth reached 12 feet, which was the depth the riverboat needed to pass. The curiosity that he developed as a child growing up in Missouri along the Mississippi ended up taking him around the world and inspiring him to write the stories that would make him a legend.